You know, I've got some boxes in the barn if you want to put them away a bit more tidy. And why should I treat Paul's stuff with respect, eh? Give me one reason why he deserves that. Took it out on Lydia. She's only trying to help. Yeah, I just thought you might get more cash for him if they're, you know, not damaged. Three words. I don't care. Cash for what? Load of old rubbish, that's what. Mandy's packing away Paul's stuff. She's going to sell it all down pawn shop. Well, don't say it like that, old judgy. He's always been lying to me for months. Look, eh? False promises. That's all that man gives. Anyway, why do you not care anyway? You know, if you want to sift through, please, be my guest. Take what you like. It's you we're bothered about. I know you're angry, but you're going to have to calm down. Because all this stress is no good for anyone. Well, I told Paul a million times what would happen if he so much as put one pound in a slot machine. But he, he promised, he convinced me that he was different, but no! Mum, Lydia's right. I should have listened to my instincts months ago. But that is it as far as I'm concerned. I'm getting rid of every trace of that man out of my life for good. Maybe, maybe they'll listen. I can't believe you actually sold that stuff. Oh, I loved every second. Sold the whole lot for 20 quid, didn't even haggle. Well, no time like the present. Oh, I don't know. It's what now? Now? I'm going to make him suffer a little bit more. Oh, Mum, do you have to wind him up? Yes. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Things are obviously still a bit raw. If you come for your stuff, you're too late. I've sold him. See what you mean? I should go. Not that it was worth much, you know. Just enough for a dead cert on the 2.30. <laughs> With a name like Liar and Cheat. Couldn't resist. I'm, I'm guessing any winnings aren't coming my way. Uh, technically speaking, it, it is my stake. <laughs> you can't help yourself, can you? The first thing you think about is winning. That's not true. I'm just being funny, you know, trying to lighten the mood. Tell us, son. It's just, just a joke. Poor choice of subject, don't you think? Right, well, no one wants to argue, do they? It's OK, Liv, it's OK. Uh, 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 Bad timing, obviously. No, it's never a good time where you're concerned. And what are you doing talking to him anyway? You shouldn't be me and Vinny. I mean, what are you doing talking to that liar? I'm not taking sides. And I, I think we should just all just sit down and talk no, about... that's what he wants, isn't it? That he can lie and cheat and twist things. Cos I've been there. And I've climbed every slippery mountain and lost everything in the process. Well, not again. Th th this is different. This time, I'm admitting I've got a problem, that I need help. Oh, here we go. Get the violins out, play the same old song. Mum's right. It's easy to say when you're being caught out. So that's it, is it? You're washing your hands of me just when I need you at most. Looks like you've got your answer, doesn't it? Do us all a favour. Don't bother coming back. Don't you think it's a bit early? Oh. Excuse me for needing to pick me up. Not like my life's been flipped upside down or anything. Yeah, I know, but even so... Oh, you don't have to worry about me. I, I can be around and I'll call and not relapse. Of course you can. Because you're a strong, independent woman who knows her own mind. Unlike some people, you can deal with your addiction. Yeah, you don't mean I don't struggle, though, Monday. I still have triggers and let my guard down sometimes. Well, if this is your way of telling us you understand what Paul's going through, please don't bother. You might think you know him, but trust me, behind that daft smile is just pure dishonesty. I hate to say it, Mum's right. I can't believe how many chances we give him. I always thought we could get through to him somehow. And I can't believe you went through this by yourself. You know that I would have believed you. I just wanted to help him. Well, I suppose we should be grateful the Evies didn't come round this time. <laughs> Progress, at least. Oh, Paul's still hanging around like a bad smell, is he? I always told him where to get off. Saw him in the yard, passed the time of day, and then left him to it. And then Sam left me to it in favour of a pint. What's that? It'll be Paul thinking he's clever using someone else's mobile phone. Hello? Yeah, that's me, who's... I see, uh, what, what, um... Is he OK, I mean? Yeah, I'll be there as soon as I can. Wait, that was the hospital. Dad's been rushed into A&E. He's been beaten up. After him? Not even that sends out mixed messages. Dad's been attacked. Somehow I think that changes everything, don't you? Knowing him, he's probably wound something up on purpose. Seriously? A bit much, don't you think? Yeah, she's right. I don't think Paul would do that. Right. Paul's down, isn't he? Right? He's been proven to be the liar that he is. What better way to get people to feel sorry for him? Play the victim, Paul Paul. Don't believe this. Yeah, you and me both. 
right? There's something about this that just doesn't wash. So you're not even going to bother to find out, then? <laughs> Look, he's got what he wants. You're worried about him. Unbelievable. Pretty extreme, if you ask me. Fine. Don't believe me. You get sucked into his little game. We don't know what's happened until we get there, do we? So you stay here if you want. I'm going to hospital. OK. I'll come. But not because I care for any of you say anything. I just don't want the world pulled over his eyes again. Then what are you waiting for? What? Did I say anything? <sighs> you didn't have to. What happened? Oh, I wish I knew. It was all a blur. I'm sorry they uh, say I've got concussion. Some swelling on brain, apparently. What? Then why are they doing all about it then? I'm fine, son. You don't have to worry. Are you kidding? I want to know what's going on. Just, just stay with me. It's, it's good to know you're here. Oh, well, I'm so tired. I can barely keep my eyes open. Just try and stay awake, all right? I'll, I'll get a doctor. You'll be all right. Make sure he don't go to sleep. I, I won't be long. I'll slap him out first if I have to. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Make the most of it. And just so you know, I'm here for Vinny. Not you. I know I said you could have it this week.